Hi students, good morning everybody. Are you ready to listen to today's lesson? The invention of white wonk. In the previous class, we have learned Mr. Willy Wonk was an inventor. He wants to invent a medicine which can make the older, the two younger ones. Okay? In his process of treating the people with his medicine, he needs to use the medicine on old people or the people those are in middle age or old age once they take this medicine okay this medicine will start acting upon them and first they become old older and oldest and they go to their minus of their age and they will be moving on to younger stage they become more young okay that's the effect of this medicine white oak white oak is a medicine invented by the inventor Mr. William Moore. Actually, this information is extracted from Charlie the Great Glass Elevator. Okay? Which was written by Ronald something. All of you must take your textbooks and go to that uh, thing. Ronald the. Okay? And from this lesson, we will go on with the next step. Okay? You must take the page number 99 from your textbooks. And here, Mr. Willy Wonk was having a conversation with Charlie. Charlie was one of the characters from this story, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. Isn't it? Elevator is nothing but the lift in the previous class we have learned it. Okay. And uh, what did he say? Ha ha, I cried. For now the ideas were beginning to come. Now the ideas started, okay, uh, glowing or flashing in the mind of this man and what's the oldest living thing in the world what lives longer than anything else okay mr billy wonk was asked by charlie that what was uh, charlie was asking you know mr billy wonk was asking to charlie what could be the oldest thing of this world especially the oldest thing it can be any living thing that is existing in the world this is a question of mr willy wonk to charlie what was the reply a tree charlie said okay then uh, mr willy says that right you are charlie but what kind of a tree okay you said that there is a tree in the world that's the longest lived tree or living tree and uh, can you guess the name of the tree he asked but what kind of a tree not a douglas fir not the oak not the cedar no no my boy actually douglas fir the i mean douglas fir or fir cedar and the oak trees or none other than coniferous trees okay in evergreen forests in forest area if you get into you can come across oaks pines fir cedar and these are the uh, actually these trees are um, what is that furniture we can make furniture out of them it's um uh, what is that uh, the um, what can i say they give okay the uh, the logs which can be used for making the furniture okay have you understood some trees and plants can yield the crop and some can be used for medicinal plants and some they can be used for making furniture here these trees out of these trees uh, okay wood we can make furniture they are wood yielding plants or trees okay wood yielding wood yielding plants or trees fir cedar pine and oak and he gives the names of them but all of them are not the same actually here there is a special kind of tree that's existing in the world that's called brazil cone pine it's a pine tree the name of the pine is brazil cone it lives for 4825 okay years of age that's a, such a long time that means even man also cannot live for such a long period of time hardly man can live for 100 years but most of the people never reach even 100 80s and 90s itself the people will die and some people even crossed 100 but such people are 
very few in the world, isn't it? But this particular tree called Brazil cone pine is lived for 4,825 years. That's a, such a long period of time. Now it is located in Nevada, California, California of USA. Okay, if you type out which was the longest uh, lived tree in the world, you'll be getting the name of Brazil cone pine that lives for 4,825 years. It's there in Nevada or California of USA. You can find Brazil cone pines on Wheeler Peak today that are over 4,000 years old. This is fact, Charlie. Ask any dendrochronologist you like and look that word up in the dictionary when you get home, will you please? Dendrochronologist. Who is dendrochronologist? A person one who decides or a person one who could measure the age of the trees. Dendro chronologist chronology is nothing but something that is related to numbers the study of numbers dendrochronologist please underline the term dendrochronologist he was suggesting to charlie to get home and find out in the dictionary what does it mean by dendrochronologist and so that started me off i jumped into the great glass elevator and rushed all over the world collecting special items from the oldest living things. What did he do? He got into the, he jumped into the great glass elevator. What is the great glass elevator? Is it literally talking about? Okay, here the author is literally talking about the great glass elevator. Or what does it mean by great glass elevator? Is this attributed to the world? And rushed all over the world collecting special items. Okay, Mr. Uh, Wong, Mr. Wong went into the world. He started uh, exploring the world in order to collect some oldest items. Okay, what was his search? He just wanted to get into the world and collect all the oldest things which they are okay located. First, he collected a pint of sap from a four thousand year old Brazil cone pine. Do you know what does it mean by sap? Sap is nothing but the wetty, watery kind of uh, okay uh, substance from the tree. Okay, after cutting the tree's stem, okay, he would be getting the sap. That means a wet water like uh, liquidized matter that he had collected. Sap is nothing but liquidized portion from the tree. Okay, he had collected this liquidized portion from Brazil cone, Brazil cone pine and it was over 4,000 years, okay? It was over 4,000 years tree from that a pint, a pint means very little, pint, P-I-N-T, pint is a measurement actually, very little amount of sap that he had collected from Brazil cone pine, right? Next, the toenail clippings from a 160 year old Russian farmer called Petrovich Gregorovich. Who was he? What was his name? Petrovich Gregorovich. Okay, he was lived for 168 year. He was a Russian. He was a farmer. From him, he had collected a toenail clippings. From his toenails, he had collected small little clippings. Okay, little portion of his nail toenail he had collected what he would do with all this uh, okay items he was collecting all these things from different uh, oldest things which are existing in the world and there is a purpose for all these items okay he would like to make a uh, one kind of preparation that's a medicine next one is an egg laid by a 200 year old tortoise belonging to the king of tonga actually it belongs to the species called Tonga, the king of Tonga actually and this egg laid by a 200 year old tortoise. The tortoise is lived for 200 years. It belongs to whom? The king of Tonga, not species Tonga. It belongs to this particular tortoise was uh, uh, petted by, petted by 
the king who lived the king of tonga okay this king is reigning the place called tonga okay he was the one who petted this tortoise it lived for 200 years still it was existing so he had taken actually he had collected all these items from the living things only not after their death okay so when they were living itself he went to them and collected all the clippings okay he had collected the uh, uh, toenail clippings from petrovich gorbich gregorovich and he had collected a pint of sap from over 4000 years of uh, a brazil cone pine and he also collected the tail of a 51 year old horse in arabia he went to arabia that he had collected uh, the tail of a 51 year old horse that he had found one horse that's living for 15 1 year from that the tail portion he had taken a small little bit from the tail of this horse and he cut that uh, portion of its tail and he had collected it the whiskers of a 36 year old cat called crumpets he was not just stopped his exploration he had moved to some other place and he had collected the whiskers of a cat that lived for 36 year okay actually certain animals have their life span for only few years but here in the case of cat it lived for 36 years and it's called crumpets what do we call that cats or crumpets it lived for 36 year and a tail of a 207 year old giant rat from the tibet he also went to tibet he went to different different places first he went to usa next he went to russia later he went to tonga then he went to some other place the place is not given in case of cat and later he had come to one uh, place okay what is that i think i jumped from this a tail of 51 year old horse in arabia the whiskers of a 36 year old cat called crumpets an old flea which had lived on the crumpets for 36 years do you know what does it mean by fleas f l e a so that's why our elders always tell us that whenever there lies some eatables on the table okay dining table we need to cover them up okay with the lids with the nets why you know if you have not covered the food items with the proper lids what happens the fleas flies will come and sit on them okay they spoil the food okay it's get to polluted and it gets uh, okay contaminated with some disease causing microbes microorganisms understand children that's why it's always required to cover the food with lids okay nets and lids here you see flea is also such kind of one a small little fly like structure okay it usually feeds on the decaying matter as well as the food items an old flea which had lived on crumpets for 36 years okay how long did it live it lived for 36 years okay he had collected that one a tail of a 2 or 207 year old giant rat from the tibet he also went to tibet there he had found some 207 year old rat giant rat and he had collected some okay important items from this rat the black teeth of a 97 year old grimalican living in a cave on mount uh, uh, popo catapetal popo catapetal the black teeth of one man who lived for 97 year old okay his teeth the black teeth of him is being collected and who lives uh, the name of this man is grimalin an old grimalin living in a cave where did he live he lives in a cave on mount uh, popo catapel and the knuckle bones of a 700 year old uh, catlo from peru okay knuckle bones these are called knuckles okay these knuckle bones he had collected from okay a 700 year old uh, catlo from peru 
he went to different different places you know he visited most of the places he covered all those places and collected some important matter or substance or certain kinds of articles from the living things of both men and animals as well as trees okay and he gathered all of them and the remaining part of this lesson will be learnt in the next class until we meet again goodbye take care and be healthy eat good food and you are requested to read this lesson so that you can be in touch with the concept that you have learned today bye bye